And now, please welcome to the stage Vice President of Strategic Partnerships and Community Engagement, Terry Bell. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the new Greer Cabaret Theater. What do you think? We're so happy to have you here tonight with us in this beautiful new space. If you have been to the Greer in the past, you know what a, an incredible transformation this is. The entire experience has been enhanced from the decor, the sound, the lighting, the stage. There's a new elevated food and drink menu that you can enjoy tonight right from your seat, and we hope you order some stuff while you're here. Um, this transformation could not have been possible without the generous support of the Eden Hall Foundation, and we're very, very grateful for that support. We hope that you enjoy the new Greer Cabaret Theater, that you tell your friends all about it, that you come back to experience some of the new exciting programming that we'll have in the months and years ahead. So before we get to the music tonight, which is what we're here for, we'd like to take a moment to acknowledge a very special member of our jazz community with the presentation of the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust's Jazz Live Legacy Award. Pittsburgh has such a deep and important jazz history. Our city has produced so many of the music's greatest artists and it continues to be a city with a vibrant and thriving jazz scene. So many of the artists who call Pittsburgh home are not only working here, but are in demand making their mark nationally and internationally on the jazz scene. This award was created by the Trust in 2018 to honor a local artist who is part of this tradition and whose contributions to this very important American art form are significant and will have a lasting impact that will live on forever. We are so grateful to have some of our past honorees in the house with us tonight. We've had Joe Negri as an honoree. He is not with us, but we have Roger Humphreys in the house tonight. We've got Dr. Harry Clark in the house tonight. And we've got Dr. J and Pamela Johnson in the house tonight. And tonight, we're so honored to present this year's Jazz Live Legacy Award and add him to this impressive list. And he's an individual who has also cemented his jazz, jazz legacy in Pittsburgh and beyond, Mr. Dwayne Dolphin. So Dwayne Dolphin has been contributing to Pittsburgh's music scene from a very young age and jumped into the national spotlight when Wynton Marcellus recruited him to play in his band when he was just out of high school. Dwayne's career took off from that point and has never stopped. He has played with literally the who's who of jazz. I'll name a few names, Wynton and Bramford Marcellus, Jerry Allen, Stanley Turntine, Fred Wesley, Nancy Wilson, Sean Jones, Chico Freeman, Abby Lincoln, Melba Moore, Roger Humphreys. We simply don't have enough time to complete that list and even get close to naming everyone, but you know, suffice it to say, you do not get to be on that list, and that prestigious list, unless you are simply brilliant. Dwayne has served as adjunct professor of guitar at, Duane, at Duquesne University's Mary Pappert School of Music. He's a mentor, he's influenced countless younger musicians in Pittsburgh and beyond. When you hear him play, you know that you're listening to a true master. We're so grateful for his impact on our jazz community and that he continues to make his home in Pittsburgh. So tonight, to present the award and to help me out with this, please welcome our inaugural Jazz Live Legacy Award recipient and a person who has a very special artistic and personal relationship with tonight's honoree, Mr. Roger Humphreys. Thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm so happy that they asked me to, to uh, give Dwayne this award, and I was fortunate enough myself to get one. 
a year ago. Uh, Pittsburgh is such a heck of a place, man. And uh, Dwayne been playing bass ever since he was a young kid. And like they say, you stick with something long enough, you'll get what's deserving for you. And that is this award that we're giving to Dwayne this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice round of applause for Dwayne so I can give him this award. Please, thank you. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Dwayne Dolphin. And Dwayne showed it to him. <laughs> uh, it's so beautiful. He deserved this, man. You know, it's funny. This morning, all I could think about a moment like this was uh, my parents. You know, I thought about, uh, here's a story for you. So when my brother graduated from high school, Moth's brother, Freddie, he's right, right here. When he graduated from high school, my father, when he walked across the stage, my father lost his mind. You just swore he got a doctorate degree from, <laughs> he was so excited, man, I never get that, man. So in a moment like this, you know, I, I, I often thought about, man, I wonder what my father would think about a moment like this when his knucklehead son is being honored. So thank you very much. I appreciate everybody. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Dwayne, for all you've done for Pittsburgh, for jazz, and for all of us who appreciate this music.